So our Lord speaks in the gospel of doing our, our, our um, practicing our Christian practices or virtues or good works uh, for others to see or for God to see for what is our intention. And this brings to uh, our reflection uh, the pure purity of intention as the church uh, and theologians uh, use that term to describe how we, uh, will, uh, whether our, our good deeds will be rewarded or not and meritorious or not. What is our intention uh, behind what we do? If we do it for selfish reasons or for other people to see or for glory or uh, praise or these these in, these uh, bad intentions, and we won't be rewarded at all. Uh, or you know, our Lord our Lord sort of terms this as hi hypocrisy. It's the Pharisees used to mm, blow trumpets to show people that they were going to be praying. They used to uh, uh, change their appearance so that other people would see that they are fasting. Uh, and uh, do good works, uh, blowing a trumpet before them, before they did, did do good works, so that other people would see it. And Jesus said they already, they already received their reward from people, and they're not going to receive reward from God. So we receive our reward from our Lord when we do, when we do it uh, for the intention of pleasing Him. And how pure is that intention? We can do things for God's glory, but we can also mix mix in that, uh, you know, I want to do this for God, but I kind of also want the praise of men, kind of also want a little bit of glory. I want a little bit of recognition for my efforts uh, from other people. So we can have mixed, uh, mixed uh, pur purposes and mixed intentions. And so we want to purify that intention more and more, to have it more and more purely for the glory of God, purely to please God, and not, uh, not for other people to see. But we can also do things like do our work and do our daily duties. We can do that for, uh, for our own satisfaction, to please ourselves. And that, that intention, too, can be uh, a mixed intention, can ruin the purity of our intention, or we can do it solely for our, ourselves, our own interests, and not for, for God. So these things we, need, we're, we can reflect on today as in, in the, the gospel. In connection with this, uh, Mother Teresa has that, uh, that saying, which... Uh, is similar to what our Lord is saying here, and it goes as follows. People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have, and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. That's the, the underline, underlining of this stay, saying of, our, of Mother Teresa, it's between you and God anyway. So no matter, it doesn't matter the consequences, doesn't matter what uh, other people think or what we get, whether it's success or praise or ridicule or envy of others, it doesn't, none of this matters. What matters is that we please God and do His will and do what he wants us to do. And finally, uh, my, uh, Saint uh, like, uh, Saint Alphonsus gives us four ways to, to help us to determine whether what we do, what the, our intentions are, whether the purity of our intention, how pure they are. He says, firstly, when, that when our efforts are not successful, we are not disturbed but remain tranquil as if we were successful. We do not so much seek success, but to do God's will, keeping in mind that it is at times His express will that we do not find success. 
Secondly, that when others do some good, we rejoice as if it had been done by ourselves. The person who seeks God's glory does not care whether it is promoted by himself or others. Thirdly, that we are content with whatever job we have been given by those in authority, because in everything we seek to please God, not ourselves. And fourthly, that in our good works we do not seek praise or thanks, even when we are mistreated or taken advantage of, but we remain tranquil of mind, satisfied that what we have done was pleasing to God. Oh. Mm-hmm.